Hi peeps, I hope you're all well. So I am back to do another collective reading for um, Divine Soulmates, Twin Souls, and we will be looking into the Divine Masculine energies as well as the Divine Feminine energies. And this is regardless of whether there is a karmic partner or um, third party element involved. Although and usually for these types of connections, there's always some kind of a difficult challenge, oftentimes more than just one, and it could be anything, okay? It could be a karmic relationship, it could be age difference, it could be physical distance, um, sexual orientation, cultural issues, it could be just about anything, a fear of commitment, anything, okay? So this is just general, so it's also not going to be everybody's situation, so do keep that in mind. But if you want a personal reading, you can check out all the information in the description box. Alright, so let's see. We're going to start by looking at what is going on in the collective of Divine Masculines. And then we'll look at the Feminines. So let's see. Alright, and we have loss, grief, sadness, and resurrection. Okay, so maybe something has happened between the two of you recently if you are if in contact or if you have been in contact. You don't it doesn't have to be that, but either way, the masculine at the moment is feeling a lot of grief, a lot of sadness when it comes to the fact that they're feeling this loss. They're feeling that they don't have their divine counterpart. So I know it just sounds like, yeah, that's you know, what everybody wants to hear on, on from one aspect, but they really are feeling this. I've actually been getting that a lot in my personal readings as well. There's a huge feeling of grief at the moment. So for a lot of you, yes, you know, maybe certain things have played out, which is causing them to feel this way. Maybe you have walked away recently, or maybe there was some kind of an interaction that has triggered them in this way, or maybe, you know, they're just picking up on your energy energetically, but definitely feeling a lot of sadness. So let's see what else. I'm actually going to pull from at least one more Oracle deck and we'll see. All right, and broken heart. Yeah, I cannot make this up. They're feeling broken hearted right now. So I don't know what is going on with the feminines yet, but the masculines are definitely feeling this heartbreak. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave it at that for the oracle cards. Let's get into the tarot. Alright, so let's take a look at what is going on with them generally. So we can get a little more specific. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. Okay, so both of these, both of these cards um, refer to being alone or just, you know, even feeling single, feeling alone. Um, possibly even just trying to detach here. Okay, so with the Nine of Pentacles, they're feeling like they're single in the sense of, even if they're married, even if they're with another partner, they're feeling like they are not a part of anything right now. This is how it's coming through. This is actually a sense of withdrawal from their outside life. Anything that is outside of the Divine Feminine, at the moment, they are pulling away from that. Um, I feel like even, you know, if there were attachments, they're doing a lot of soul searching at the moment when it comes to what is it that I am attached to? What is it that I need to be independent from? And it's not even just soul searching about that. It's actually feeling that. So, for example, physically, they might still be in a situation whatever that situation is, but energetically they're feeling completely detached from that. 
they're feeling independent of that even if they're still in some way in in that situation or involved in that situation all right so we might clarify some of these we'll see but let me get a little bit more specific for um for their energy towards their feminine right now So we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers. <laughs> Very interesting, okay? So this is a 666, six, six, all right? So if that means anything to anybody. Um, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments if, you, if you're into numerology, okay, what this, what this would actually be about. So At the moment, they're feeling like things are not equal, things are not even, things are not right, things are not balanced, things are not where they should be. I feel like the ma we will clarify these, actually. Um, but there's definitely also a lot of thinking about the past, a lot of reminiscing about the past with their feminine and feeling like, this is my person, basically. This is my person, all right, with the lovers here. Really feeling that... Um, that connection very, very strongly, and I feel like that has actually been coming up in the past couple of weeks where the masculine is really feeling the energy of the feminine, really feeling the essence of their divine counterpart, and just feeling those emotions very, very strongly. So it would only make sense, well, that's just going to build and build and build, and then eventually lead to this feeling of loss and the broken heart. So let's actually clarify these. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles showing up in reverse, although for clarifiers to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, the Five of Swords and the Tower also in reverse. All right, so yeah, this um, feeling like things are not in balance, feeling like things are not right, they feel like they have not been giving you pretty much what you deserve, all right? They're feeling the sense of deceit from their own selves and their sense of deceit, right? that they've been creating is the fact that they have not been allowing this tower to completely blow up. Um, they have not planted those seeds. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They have waited too long. That's what they're feeling at the moment. Almost like, kind of like, damn it, I've, how did I wait this long? How, how did so much time pass by of me continuing to not give what what was given to me or not being able to reciprocate that offer or whatever other kind of actions it's like the feminine was planting seeds or trying to do things to help out the situation or to try to move things you know in the direction of this union and the masculine was actually doing things that kind of brought the opposite result, and that's why we have the tower in reverse. They're feeling like, I have been resisting that. Okay, so they're actually in this energy of understanding that and realizing that, all right? This is their energy here. And yes, for some of them, they are still doing that, okay? And that's why this is here. Um, let's see the Six of Cups, though, because there's... There's a lot of longing, though, a lot of nostalgia for the past here. And I actually feel like with that Six of Pentacles, it's also coming in as some regret, feeling, feeling guilty for not having treated you in the way that, you, that they know that you would deserve, knowing that what they're doing or what they have done has been deceitful. All right, so clarifying the Six of Cups, we have the Magician in Reverse and the Three of Cups. 
And I'm so sorry, I just realized these cards are out of the camera shot. So let me just move everything over. Okay. There's, <laughs> here's that sense again with the Three of Cups, right? They want this reconciliation. There's the sense of wanting to come back together. They're thinking about you a lot, but with the Magician being in reverse, this is also about not feeling 100% confident or 100% capable of moving in that direction. But to me, it's coming in more of, yeah, you know, they want this. They're not sure if you still do. And that has also been coming through um, quite a bit lately as well. And this could be exactly why they're feeling that loss, that sadness, that broken heart. Because they feel like this is something that they can no longer manifest because too much time went by and now their heart is broken so let's clarify the lovers and we have the page of cups Okay, so the masculine is feeling this urge to actually express these emotions to you. So regardless of whether you are in contact or not, they're feeling this. They're feeling this very, very strongly. Like, I cannot stress that enough. And for some of them, they might even be expressing this to you, or maybe they have. Like, maybe there has been some deep conversation that you have had recently. If not, it could be something that is coming up, or it's just something that they are thinking very intently about. And it's because, again, they're feeling that loss. So um, I'm actually going to move for uh, move towards the feminine's energy now, and we will come back to see what what is coming up for the masculines. So let me just get a couple of oracle cards for the feminines. I am trying to keep this one shorter, this video shorter than usual, just for now. All right. So for the feminines. All right, we have remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. So it's interesting because it is kind of similar to the masculine's energy here. But let's get a let's get at least one more. And we have angel of love. Okay. So for the feminine, there have been feelings of the past coming up, and I feel like it's interesting because we do have Angel of Love. So I feel like, yeah, for, for many of you, it could be, you know, reminiscing about the past, thinking about how beautiful that was, regardless of whether you are moving on or not, okay? That has nothing to do with it. You might be moving on and still be feeling this and it's more like a distant memory for you. For others of you, it could be a little bit more triggering. And then yet for others of you, I actually feel like what you might be remembering is not even just the positive lovey-dovey stuff. It's actually remembering certain um, negative aspects of the connection but you are remembering those negative aspects of the connection from a compassionate point of view, from a place of love. So it's, it's a little complicated. It's hard to actually express what I am like getting right now, but I think that's the best way that I can sum it up. Okay, and I feel that there's actually a big group of you out there which is going to resonate with that last part that I said. Remembering the negative things, remembering the place that you don't want to be in, remembering the situations that you don't want to be in. You don't want cycles to repeat themselves. You don't want to be, you know, um, feeling like you're a choice or you don't want to feel like, you know, this person is in and out and ghosting you, just contacting you when they want to and then, you know, um, having their fear take over. 
you don't want that. You're remembering what that feels like as well. But it's almost like you're, you've are you released the resentment, or at least most of it. And so you're remembering that not to, not as a self-defense mechanism to get away from them, but more of, yeah, you know, it's a self-respect thing. Like, I want to be happy, and I want to have what I deserve. And yes, I remember that, but I'm not holding a grudge against it either. So I feel like that's actually big progress for for the feminines. So let's let's get some tarot. So we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Feminines. There is something here. This is just for your general energy, okay? Um, and it may or may not be related to your masculine. But I feel like you're in a situation where you feel like your material world might not be exactly where you want it to be. And you do feel this drive to take action, but I feel like there's more action that you could actually take in order to achieve your goals. And it could be, you know, finding a more stable or consistent environment in order to do so. Um, possibly feeling like, you know, you need to, um, whether that be starting up a business, um, grounding certain situations in your life, putting things into place, managing your finances, um, Anything that is material, you know, moving, establishing your home, whatever that is, whatever that is for you. Maybe it's you being in another relationship or commitment or just any commitment that you have. It could be even um, studying. So I feel like that's just a message, like an extra message for you regardless of the masculine situation. So let's see... So just, yeah, take that if it resonates, disregard it if it doesn't. I'm getting another message here for this. Um, for some of you, if this, that this could be towards um, your masculine, right, or the situation with your masculine, this is you not, not interacting anymore if there is no commitment. It's like you are not taking action anymore. You are not putting in effort. You are not exerting energy towards making this happen. Okay, so take whichever message resonates for you. For some of you, it could be both. Well, let's see. I will also be clarifying these as well. Let me just move these over. All right, we have the strength in reverse, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. I actually, I don't, I don't get that you are not feeling strong, although for some of you it could be that you're feeling a little bit weak at the moment, especially if you resonate with one of the messages I said about the remembrance card, which was remembering all the good times, all right, and possibly being triggered. Okay, if that is the case, then at the moment, yes, you are feeling, um, you might be feeling like this is taking over again and that you're feeling very heartbroken and that you're feeling like this is done and that it's just never going to happen and it's just it's just weighing so heavy on you so i feel like this is actually for one group of you and i will get um more for another group okay so that you can see which one is which message is for you so if you are in in this group 
And this is actually true for, for even other groups. Um, it doesn't have to be just for this particular group, okay? So some of these messages might actually resonate where more than one category might resonate for you, okay, is what I'm trying to say. So, I feel like for a lot of you, you are meant to feel like this is done. You are meant to feel like this is over because that is the only way that you will actually be able to find your strength and this is how you will have some soul growth. You will only be able to release this burden, this heaviness from you or from within you if you actually believe that it is over. And I know that some people don't won't agree with me because they believe that, you know, you should always have hope. And I'm not saying to not have hope, okay? You can have a window of hope that this can manifest when the time is right and when, you know, you have aligned with your higher self or learned certain lessons and when the masculine has also done the same. It's okay to have that hope, but sometimes, you know, that isn't enough to really help you to release the attachment to fully find your strength. If you, it's easy to just rely on the hope sometimes. And so by fully believing that this is over and allowing yourself to feel that ending, then you can finally find that strength and this strength will turn right side up and you will release that burden. So I'm gonna get three more just to see any other message. And for some of you, you know, you might actually be going through this and maybe it's not making you feel so, um, I feel like for some of you, you may have actually processed this. And are on your way to releasing that burden because you're like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to take it as a given. I'm going to take what the universe is showing me. And if the universe is showing me, you know, that this is um, not going anywhere and that things are staying the same, that's what I'm going to take. And that's okay. Things can change in the future. There's that, that w little window of hope, but you're not depending on that at all. <laughs> it's it, like you're going about your life as if it's, it's over. And you're okay with that because you know that you have everything you need from within. Union with the masculine is a bonus. All right? And I know that's so hard to hear when we're in certain stages of this journey, but... Some of you are in that in that place right now. And I'm sorry about the noise. That's Vanek trying to come in. I had to lock him out because he was just making um, so much noise. Let's see. We have the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Sun. Okay, yeah, so I feel like this is a completely different energy, almost from the from the first row here. Um, but I'm also seeing this as being the continuation, okay, of those of you who resonated with the with the first set of three cards here. Okay, so this is all about the feminine standing strong in her power or his power, right? Really being confident, going after what you want, knowing what you want, but also knowing what you deserve, right? This is you actually embodying your wish fulfillment and having, just feeling fulfilled, having what you want, having your wishes come true and being 100% happy with the situation regardless of what that situation is. Just feeling really, really good about your own self really, really happy with your own life, having actually fulfilled whatever this Ten of Pentacles in reverse was over here. So actually, I don't feel like I even need to clarify any of these here. I feel like it is very straightforward. So I'm leaving that there. Let's go back to the masculines and see what is coming up. So this will be for the near future, so the next week or so, week or two. All 
right, so we have the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Chariot, which may have been in reverse. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really matter. Um, all right, okay, interesting. So the Masculines had six, 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 and now they have seven, seven, seven. And what else is interesting? This is crazy. The first two cards, Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit, nine, nine. Okay, numerology experts, please let me know if any of you are into numerology, what is going on here, all right? So nine sixes and then three sevens. So trying not, I'm trying not to get distracted by manics at the moment. Um, with the Seven of Swords being in reverse, this is the masculine knowing what they were trying to avoid before knowing what it is that they were trying to avoid before and actually facing that okay not wanting to avoid this anymore they know that they have been avoiding the connection with you in whatever way kind of like pushing it out blocking it out that is also what has led up to that broken heart we have the seven of pentacles upright now which we had in reverse before right them not putting in that effort that the feminine had actually put in which had led to an imbalance because the feminine was giving, 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 the masculine was just not giving or just receiving. That was the Six of Pentacles imbalance. Now we have that Seven of Pentacles upright, wanting to plant those seeds, wanting to plant those seeds towards taking some kind of an action, taking control over their life, doing something, changing courses, right? Changing the course from what it used to be, Seven of Swords in reverse and moving in that direction. So it definitely feels like for some of you, there might be some kind of contact if you have not been in contact or possibly even travel. Either way, because like I said, this I feel like for some of you this may have actually been in, in reverse. Um, there's definitely a planting of seeds though, that is for sure, and definitely a movement away from avoiding and trying to block out what they just, you know, didn't want to see. So coming up in the next week or so there is some actual practical steps that are being taken in this direction. Actually, you know what, before we close out, let me actually clarify that chariot. We have judgment. And the five of wands. All right, okay. So there's a lot of, uh, it's going to be a struggle, all right, coming up. So they're not out of that heart brokenness type of an energy here. They're having major revelations when it comes to their own self and feeling very, very conflicted when it comes to trying to take control over their lives. I feel like they're really trying to turn the wheel here. They're really trying to take the reins, basically, into their hands and actually do something. And I'm even getting with this Five of Wands, I'm seeing it as actively putting up a fight. Actively putting up a fight for another chance, possibly. For another chance. That's how this is um, coming in. So whatever that means to you guys. Another chance for what? I don't know. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be another chance um, in love with you. But it's like another chance for something. But when it comes to you. Maybe for some of them it's giving themselves that chance that they can fight for, you know, whatever it is that they need to get away from, for example. In order to move in your direction in order to really become independent of any other barrier, even if that barrier is just from within their own self. So I see them putting up a fight. I don't see it being easy. I actually see it being a struggle, but trying to take their life into control because we also have the magician in reverse up here, which it's suggesting that they felt incapable, 
Here they are trying to be capable. Planting those seeds, not wanting to avoid anymore, not wanting to deceive themselves or their feminine anymore. All right, so let's close this reading out. Yeah, and so much for this being shorter, huh? All right, and we have orphaned. The masculine is feeling abandoned right now. The masculine is feeling alone. The masculine is feeling very, very lonely. Again, it's coming together, coming in as that broken heart, that loss, that grief, that sadness. So I definitely feel like, you know, for a lot of you, the feminine has um, possibly moved away from this. Even if it makes you feel really sad as well, even if it makes you feel weak, even if you don't feel like you're strong enough to go through with it, um, definitely because there's this sense of loneliness here. And I'm definitely picking up that it is very strongly from the masculine side. And it could also be that you're feeling this way as well, but I'm mostly getting it for the masculines. So let me just get one more from the Moonology deck. All right, and we have the waning moon. What do you need to release? Definitely feeling this for the first group here. It's that burden that you're carrying, which you will be able to release that once you can process whatever it is that you are being given from the universe to process, and you will know what that is, all right, in relation to your divine masculine, in relation to this connection. What do you need to release? And for some of you, it could definitely be that there are other things in your life that you need to release as well. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I do feel, like I said, the masculines, because they're feeling this broken heart, orphaned energy, that is pushing them forward. There's something here that the feminine <clears throat> needs to release. Or maybe you are already releasing that. Take it as encouragement to, yes, keep releasing that. You're on the right track. Alright guys, those were the messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.